the lesson we're going to talk about today is the first lesson in the probability unit. It is ratio. The uh, it is a brand new note packet. Um, we are on page two of your notes. So the homework that goes along with this is page two and three in the homework packet. All right. So you're on your first page in your note packet. We are talking about ratios. A ratio is comparing two quantities by division. You can write ratio in three different Five to eight. Five to eight is a fraction. Five to eight is a semicolon. All of these mean exactly the same thing. Now, if you were writing this algebraically, a to b, a to b, a to b, where b is not zero. Because why does it say where b is not zero? Because you can never have zero in a denominator. It's undefined. All right. We are going to talk about today simplifying ratios. And to simplify them, you need to think about the fact that they are really just fractions. So you're going to write them in fraction form and then reduce it just like it was a fraction. You do not want to have um, a unit on it. And to reduce, the units need to be the same. So let's take a look at this. Write the ratio of 50 seconds to 2 minutes in simplest form. Well, that would be 50 seconds to two minutes. But you cannot simplify these because they're not the same. So I'm going to leave my 50 seconds as seconds. Isn't two minutes 120 seconds? Seconds divided by seconds is one. You always want your units to cancel out. If I divide these both by 10, I'll have five twelve. So the simplest form is five twelve. Or you can write Five to twelve, you could write five to twelve. Write the ratio thirty seconds to three minutes in simplest form. So again, thirty seconds, three minutes. I'm going to multiply that by sixty. That's one hundred and eighty seconds. Seconds divided by seconds is gone. This will reduce to one sixth. All right. It is hard to see in this picture. There are six ladybugs on this seat. And there are eight ants on this seat. So, write each ratio using the ladybugs and the ants. So, ants to all insects. Well, there are eight ants, and there are a total of 14 insects. That will reduce. Ladybugs to ants. Okay, ladybugs to ants. So ladybugs is six, ants is eight, three, four. Ladybugs to all insects. So ladybugs is first, to all insects is fourteen. That's three, seven. All right. Write these each in simplest form: sixteen centimeters to eight centimeters. Centimeters cancel out, I get two to one. Ten seconds to two minutes. Ten seconds to two minutes is 120 seconds. Seconds, seconds gone, it'll be one twelve. Change these both to inches. Thirty-two inches. Four feet is forty-eight inches. Inches cancel out, and I am left with two. All right, now, this is the tricky one. It says, in a class, the ratio of boys to girls, boys to girls, is 5 to 7. If the total number of students in the class is 24, how many students are boys? Okay, so, we are going to do boys to total. Boys to girls. Is five to seven. Boys five to total. So this doesn't mean there are five boys out of every twelve people in the class, because there are five boys for every seven girls. So I've got five boys and seven girls. So that means there are five boys out of every twelve people in the class, because five plus seven is twelve. Well, let's think about this. If the total in the class is twenty-four. 2 times 12, 12 is 24, so this would be 
ten boys for every twenty four. So ten boys in the call. And the trick there is you need to recognize that that twenty four is total. All right. Complete the ratio table. We are looking for a pattern. Look what is happening. We're doing four times three is twelve. Three, eight times three, twelve times three, sixteen times three will be forty-eight. You could also have looked for a pattern going down the side. This is adding four, and over here we're adding twelve. So let's see what's here. We're doing multiplying by three, but we don't have either one of these, so we need to find the pattern here. What's happening? Add five, add five. Down here we're adding fifteen, we're adding fifteen. So our pattern would be add five here, that'll give you ten. Add fifteen here, that'll give you thirty. Circle two ratios that are equal. Well, four to twenty would be two ten. Four one six. Six to thirty-six would be one six. Thirteen to seventy-two is thirteen to seventy-two. It won't reduce. And five to twenty-five is one. So which two are the same? A and B. All of these equivalent ratios. Well, three pink umbrellas to 21 green is 3 to 21, 1 6. 6 to 36 is 1 6. So are they the same? No. In Lisa's class, 24 of the students are tall and 12 are short. In Paul's class, 15 are tall and 20 are short. Which class has a higher ratio of tall to short? So, tall to short. Let's see. 24 to 12. This is Lisa. Which is what? 2 to 1. So, 2 tall for every 1 short. And Paul's class has 15 tall to 20. 3 to 4. So, 2 to 1 is much bigger than 3 to 